Hey, Algebra. Um, lesson four. So we talked about mean a few times. I even showed you on your calculator how to calculate mean um, using the statistics button. Um, we're going to do a little bit more now. Talk about deviations or standard deviations. So to start out, a consumer's organization is planning the study of the various brands of batteries that are available. As part of its planning, it measures lifetime, how long a battery can be used before it must be replaced, for each of six batteries of brand A and eight batteries of brand B. Dot plots show the battery lives for each brand are shown below. So I've got brand A and brand B. Brand A, we did one, two, three, four, five, six batteries. Brand B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries. And we did battery life in hours. Does one brand of ba uh, battery tend to last longer or are they roughly the same? What calculations could you do in order to compare the battery lives of the two brands? Um, looking at the dot plots, the two brands are about the same as far as battery life goes. Um, if you look brand B, I've got some low guys down here and some high guys up here, but those would average together back into the middle. Okay, they're about the same. It's not like I have a whole bunch mounted on top of each other in the middle or everything is on this side or everything is on that side. They're spread out very, very similar to each other. So that's pretty apparent. Um, one way of making the comparison would be calculating the mean. If we calculated the mean for each battery, um, that would be a great way to compare. If I look at the mean for battery A, I already ran them through my calculator and I got 101 hours and the mean for battery B is 100.5 hours. Those are similar enough to each other that you can say they're about the same. Um, do the battery lives tend to differ more from battery to battery for brand A than for brand B? Now we're talking about variability. What is the variability between the batteries for brand A and brand B? If I look, brand A, I've got a lot of difference between the variables. They're not, or sorry, the batteries. They're not really clustered together. They're not clustered. And then if I look at brand B, it's even more variable because I'm all the way down there to up here. So not clustered for B either, but even more spread out. So the variability would be considered greater for battery B. Do the battery lives we just did this one, sorry. Um, scratch that. Would you prefer a battery brand that has battery lives that do not vary much from battery to battery? Why or why not? Um, that's sort of personal preference. I would prefer a battery with small variability because I want to know what to expect. If I put a battery into, I don't know, my kid's game controller, I want to know it's going to last for quite a while. I don't want to, to experience a battery that lasts for a week and then another battery that lasts for three months. I want them all to last for two and a half months, right? Um, so I want small variability because um, I want more consistency. Oops. I like consistency. And I like predictability. All right, moving on. The table below shows the lives in hour um, of the brand A batteries. So I've got the lives in hours of the brand A batteries. Number four says calculate the deviations from the mean for the remaining values and write your answers in the appropriate places in the table. So now we're doing deviations from mean. So we already calculated the mean of battery A you guys remember what it was? 110? I need to go back and look. 
um, 101. <clears throat> the mean for battery A was 101. So I'm just going to grab my calculator and go 83 minus 101. 94 minus 101. 96 minus 101. 106 minus 101. 113 minus 101. And last but not least, 114 minus 101. That's the deviation. So subtract from the mean. So I took 101, sorry, I went life minus mean and filled in all of those blanks. Got it? I could have written that down here. Life in hours minus mean equals deviation. Deviation from mean means how far it drifted from the mean. How far it is away from the average. All right, the table below shows the battery lives and the deviations from the mean for brand B. If you remember, brand B was 100.5. So what they did was life minus mean equals the deviation from the mean. Okay, we're going to use those values um, to calculate some more things. But let's look at brand C. The lives of five batteries of a third brand, brand C, were determined. The dot plot shows the lives of the brand A and the brand C batteries. Which brand has the greater mean battery life? You should be able to answer this question without doing any calculations. Let's see, the mean for brand A was 101. I think I'd remember that. Maybe about right there. Um, it looks like brand C, the mean's going to be a bit higher, maybe in that range somewhere. So which brand has the higher mean? I'm going to say brand C. And that's just a visual. I didn't calculate anything. Um, which brand shows greater variability? Well, if I look, brand A way down here to way up here with lots of space in between the batteries. This one, that's the lowest and the highest without a lot of space. So I'm going to say that brand A shows greater variability. Which brand would you expect to have the greater deviations from the mean, ignoring the signs of the deviation? So we're not going to pay attention to the signs, just the pure numbers. So if you remember, the deviation is life minus mean equals your deviation. So which one do you think? I think since brand A has the greater variability, Therefore, it's going to have the greater deviation. All right. <clears throat> Calculate the mean battery life for C. Again, I'm going into my calculator. I'm using the stat function. The mean is the X bar. And I got, let's look, 110 hours. It is greater. That's good. Um, so I'm going to use that to fill in my deviation from the mean. 115 minus 110, 119 minus 110, 12 minus 110, 98 minus 110, and 106 minus 110. Um, now we're going to use this on my next slide, but you have your paper in front of you, so you don't have to rewrite anything or look anywhere. So ignoring the signs, are the deviations from the mean generally larger for brand A or brand C? Does your answer agree with your answer to exercise 7? So looking back, um, brand A, I'm going back to my deviations. Let's see, not looking at the signs, just the numbers, I go from like 18 is my biggest and 5 is my smallest. Then if I look at C, 
Um, my biggest would be 12, my smallest would be 2. Okay, the difference here is 10, the difference here is 13. Therefore, I would say that um, the deviations from the mean for A are greater, which is what I estimated for number 7. I guessed right. All right, moving on. All right, first we are going to estimate the mean battery life for D. And we have more batteries, sorry, I didn't read that part. The lives of 100 batteries of brand D and 100 ba batteries of brand E were determined. The results are summarized in the histograms below. So first of all, let's estimate the mean battery life for D. Um, don't calculate, but it looks, I mean, that's a very symmetrical histogram. So I'm gonna say it's right there, about 110. Estimate the mean battery for E. Um, I think we're going to be a little skewed to that side, maybe. That's my guess. Oh, I don't know what that's... Hold on. Hmm. I don't know. I'm guessing about 130 hours. Um... Your guess just has to be in the ballpark, right? It doesn't have to be exact. That's why we're estimating. That's what that word means. That word makes me shiver because in my math mind, I want an exact answer and I want to calculate it, but it's okay. Which, brand, which of brands D and E shows the greater variability in battery lives? Do you think the two brands are roughly the same in this regard? Sorry, I needed a picture of D so I could answer that. It's a little hard to answer without looking at a picture. In which brands, um, let's see, in which of brands D and E shows the greater variability? Um, do you think the two brands are roughly the same in this regard? Variability, let's see. I've got like 85 to 145. Well, that's all right. 105 to 1, is that 145? I can't read it. Yep. Oh, wait, 165. So our spread is 85 to 145, or 105 to 165. It's a little off. Um, it's a little off, but I, I mean, you could, you could argue either way for this one in my mind. Um, roughly the same. I forgot which one I was answering. I'm going to guess roughly the same. That doesn't seem to be too far off. We can go back and look at brands A, B, and C to see how far they were off. Um, if you remember our dot plots for A and B, A went um, almost to beginning to end, and B was just here. So that's a pretty good var variability, where here we're just off by that much. That's not too bad. Um, estimate the largest deviation from the mean for brand D. We did say that brand D's um, mean, we were guesstimating at about 110. So the largest variation would be 85 minus 110. So 85 minus 110 is negative 25. And then from the top, I have to look at a bit different picture. 145, that's going to be 35, and then for, um, oh, we didn't do the largest, so the uh, largest deviation for brand D would be right there. Um, what do you consider a typical deviation from the mean for brand D? I don't have typical yet. I don't feel like we've really been doing this um, for extreme, for a ton of time, so um, typical Let's see, if we're going from 65 to 110, is that 65? Sorry. Nope, I think that's 85. Yeah, we already did 85 to 110. Um, typically, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. You know, we're going, there's a whole bunch of batteries in this center tower. So our typical deviation is probably going to be more right around here, which would be maybe five to 15 hours. Because in these towers, these bars of the histogram, 
there are the most batteries are in there. You know, I've got 38 batteries in that high one. So if our mean is 110, our typical deviation is going to be really close in here between 110. We're going to ignore those because they're far away. Typically, it's going to be the close ones between 110, about 5 to 15 hours. And that's it. No, I think I missed some things. Hold on. Yep, that was it. It so, ended so abruptly. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We're really doing a lot of the same stuff, but um, it's a ton of fun. So we're going to learn how to calculate standard deviations soon. Not yet, but um, go ahead and practice with what we've learned.